A lack of lifeguards locking more Western New York families out of their local pools this summer. We told you yesterday about a staffing problems in the city of Buffalo. Nine outdoor pools will have to stay closed for the season. City officials say they only have enough employees to open two indoor pools. Ten splash pads will still be an option for Buffalo families. In Niagara Falls today, officials announcing they will open city splash pads, yet they will only be able to staff two of three pools. But as Fevin Casahoon explains, officials plan to use the shutdown pool to their advantage for the future. It's really important to keep our kids engaged. Niagara Falls City officials announcing summer openings for kids to stay cool for the summer. The city hired about eight new lifeguards, according to Mayor Restino. Uh, we've been fortunate to be able to get some lifeguards. I know that that's a difficulty all across Western New York. In fact, it's a difficulty all across America. The city's public pools on 91st Street and on Center Court will open Thursdays through Sundays from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Our pool at Hyde Park, while we were not able to get sufficient lifeguards for that pool, will undergo about a million dollars worth of improvements uh, that need to be made to that pool so that we're up and ready to go next year. Um, lifeguards per, uh, permitting. Additionally, the city is opening a new splash pad after officials say they didn't have one the last few years. What we need coming out of this pandemic more than anything is engagement, activity and extra sets of eyes looking at kids. That's how you come out of trauma. Here are updates on other pools in western New York. In West Seneca, city officials have shared that it will close its only pool. Veterans Park Pool, but the new splash pad next to it will not. In the town of Cheektowaga, both Kenmore Pool and Lincoln Park Pools have opened for the summer. Four to five lifeguards have been staffed. Bevan Casahoon, 7 News, Buffalo.